1976, Spain was reveling in its newfound freedom with an explosion of jazz rock creativity. And one of the bands to join in on the festivities was Secta Sonica. And from their first of two albums, Fred Pedrobez, the track Violentos Los Corias. a funky with uh like guitar figure so far and and uh just some choice accents from the drumming <laughs> Okay, I love that kind of dirty, fuzzy tone and that odd move in the key. Nah, um, B flat, duh, F sharp, na 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 na. Maybe it's going like B flat to F sharp minor. No. I love that. I, I think I'm hearing a major seventh right there, facilitating some very fluid guitar runs. It's strange how the, the I was trying to pinpoint what was what the drummer doing. He's he's adding like this um, this hi hat on every four. It almost sounds kind of like a backward version though of the typical like sliding hi hat. It's a little bit slower than most hi hats. So that that there's something there's some odd note that that fuzzy guitar is like hitting between that change. Okay, who all are we hearing on, on this? Um, guitar, huh, several people are credited. Um, basically, Jordi Bonnell and Rafael Zaragoza. Um, and uh, bass by Xavier Perez, who wrote the track. And... Uh, <laughs> a half step with some more um, fuzzy uh, guitar uh, filigree. Um, percussion by Krupa Quinteros. I don't see the drummer listed though, but obviously we got two different guys playing. Oh, uh, the, the percussionist, he was on that uh, that uh, Mirasol uh, Colores. Credit is a vocalist on the track. Oh, and a few other. Um, Jordi Sabate. Yeah. Um, this guy, Toddy Solar. He. This guy's quite was quite prolific at the time on the Spanish scene. <laughs> yeah, there's two guitarists on this.
I love that, uh, the way that fuzz sounds against these kind of Spanish scales. <laughs> You know what I guess is giving this band kind of a unique sound is that it's basically flamenco in disguise. It's basically flamenco guitar played on an electric with a fuzz tone. Yeah. What I mean by that is it's like it's like the kind of so they've been playing some of the kind of scales that you would normally hear like in flamenco, like on that Spanish acoustic guitar, except transposed to like. I was commenting in that um, Iceberg video a couple of days ago about how Iceberg were unique for the time and that they were incorporating that fuzzy guitar sound from the 60s into mid-70s jazz rock. And here Septasonic are doing it as well. So that, that's kind of like something that, that seems to set some of these Spanish acts apart from from the rest of the world and and because like jazz rock was everywhere <laughs> now more of a funky riff here this must be uh the other guitarist um who was kind of giving us a bit of harmonic nuance during that that solo we just heard it's it's strange how that that hi hat seems to be playing over the bar. It's it's playing on the four and then kind of um, continuing over the one. <laughs> It's also strange how there's like no downbeat um, under it. Like, like th there's a part like like it seems like all like all the all, all the other beats kind of come, are kind of like bunched up, at, you know, at the front of the bar. And then you just hear that tsst, like. <laughs> Hear the, hear the dueling lead. Yeah, you two two guitars going on at once. Think of just all the harmonic density. Of this two lead guitarists plus a bass, giving us some really melodic ostinato patterns. I also love how just the percussion is just like steaming right through. And the bass is just it, it is just kind of like walking everything through through these changes. So with such like slickness. hearing like like a na, na, na. yeah I, I'm hearing tritones in it, it's it's kind of like you, you'll have like one chord with like like an F sharp superimposed on it and then you'll and then you'll hear a C <laughs> Well, if you're if you're basically going doing a half step between B and C, and yet you're emphasizing the fifth in in um, in B, 
F sharp, and then you, you move right up to C, and then you emphasize just the tonic in C, you're kind of creating a tritone. <laughs> Oh, now they're both really searing, really, really fuzzing out. Here, here are ones doing, doing that, doing that, that figure, and um, and the other is kind of giving us the sustain tone, the sustain. Yeah, well, yeah. One's basically playing like like single notes, and, and the other is giving us that that kind of ang like angular figure. The drumming's changed. It's a bit more misty. <laughs> That was Secta Sonica with Violentos Los Corias from their 1976 album um, <clears throat> Fred uh, Pedro, Pedro Baz. Yeah, I was wondering if that was... I, I looked that up to see if that was a figure, like someone like important, like in, but all it brought up was matches to this album. Um, let's hear another track from the album, La Palmera. Oh, I love that that guitar tone, um, and hear that, yeah, kind of like a kind of, kind of like envelopey, and and then hear that bit of like spine tingling piano. many bands um, in this vein of music that use the twin guitar arrangement. Um, this track uh, is... Oh, no, it's the same two guitarists, yeah. There's three guitarists that appear on the album. One who appears on three tracks, neither of the ones I'm playing. Though. I love that figure that we just heard, the way the, those two guitars entwined on that high note and the way the bass was kind of like forming like a curve underneath them. Oh, that kind of liquidy sound. That, that's the ultimate earworm of the, of the piece. We have acoustic guitar, finally. One of those pieces that just explores kind of like quiet, spacey, like space, the kind of dark space between notes, you know. I guess is referring to uh, palm trees. Hmm. 
That's what I got when I googled the title. I love how the structure is just so loose and yet it's so uh, tight at the same time. I mean, it's got like a definite direction. It's like hummable, you can follow it. And yet it's so free flowing. And there's, there's like so much space for the musicians to move around in it. <laughs> those little uh, droplets of the piano and that and the sound of the bass the kind of really tight crisp almost trebly bass sound <laughs> The acoustic guitar is just kind of like almost like throwing chords and sort of um, play like, like the mixture of, of there, there's a certain kind of like kind of motion like freedom to this. <laughs> Oh, that bass, that, that bass kind of has has a similar effect on it as as like the guitars actually, um, and and I I love the odd notes that are created between the two guitars on that on that one part right there, yeah there there's uh, the the way it, either it's it's just kind of like in the scale they're playing, very likely or um, an odd. Uh, like the 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 way two notes kind of collide between the two guitarists. There's something about that melody. It, it, it's almost as if um, where you might be expecting a full step or something, or you instead get kind of like like a half step, or or you get it, or it lands like one note kind of um, shy of where you're expecting it to. There's there's something odd in that melody. <laughs> Kind of fading off into like liquid lucidity. That was La Palmyra by Secta Sonica, and before that, Violentos Los Corias from the band's 1976 album, Fred Pedrobez, their first of two albums, yes. Released in 1976 on Zeleste Edziga. Ed Edig at Digza, yes. For more rubies and sapphires from the two Secta Sonica albums, see the directory of albums by Spanish artists linked in the description below. Like and subscribe and follow me on social media, and leave a comment if there are any observations you have about the two tracks we just heard. The layers, the arrangements, the interplay, the dueling, like, harmonic lead interplay between the two guitarists, the counterpoint of the bass, the creative drum patterning, 
yeah, so many nuances to take in. Yeah. And until next time, this is Aragon, the world's most air travel tram maximalist, signing off.